there are no roads and people that live there live off the land pretty much. They drink, they drink water out of the river and they grow their own food. These are people that live out in the mountains. The Golden Triangle, El Triangulo Dorado, is where a lot of good stuff grows, but not necessarily is a good thing. Let's get into this video. Drugs, money, mansions, and private jets. A myth is being created around the narco culture. Narco culture has gone mainstream and can be seen in various areas like music, religion, soap operas, fashion, and language. But it's not all the pretty roses people like to see. Join me as I tell you the truth behind cartel life. This is narco culture. Hey, what's up guys? My name is JC. If you have not subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell so you don't miss nothing. And yeah, if you are part of my Ron Strong crew, my raza, my familia, my motherfucking crew, Suvatel Suburban, let's get the show on the road. All right, guys. This is how it is. We're talking about the Golden Triangle. It is a place in Mexico where a lot of drug lords have used it to hide from the government, whether it's Mexico or the U.S. It is almost impossible to get there with a vehicle. It has to be done through horse or helicopter or plane. It is impossible. But this is why El Mayo has never been taken out of this area because he is used to living like this you know he's old school but at 72 years old it is said and there's been a lot of talk that he is suffering from diabetes and his health is not doing well wanted in mexico and the u.s and the big war that's happening in the backyard omayo is sick man he's sick he's sick and old and he's not in the best of scenarios the do the golden triangle is safe yes it's safe it keeps people out you know it, it's it's due to its impossible access but what's gonna happen if his health gets even worse it's not like El Mencho El Mencho uh, built a hospital <laughs> And has it ready to go. But, you know, El Mayo is over here sitting out in the boonies, the forest. And, you know, he's getting old and sick. And this will be the first, first, you know, big time dude that is going to not set foot in an American jail or a Mexican jail. But despite all his money... We all get old and we all get sick. But this is a problem and this is a conflict that people don't actually see through the big, the big screen, the big scene, the outside window, however you want to call it. Is that the conflict that he has right now with El, El Chapo's sons, if that is not resolved by the time that he passes, that's going to erupt another war on top of another war that is going to be bad. And now El Chapo's sons know this. This is why they know they need to absolutely control the whole cartel before he dies. It would be almost impossible for them to do it and take over, you know, command if, if he dies and he doesn't, you know, leave it a certain way. El Mayo is highly, highly respected by a lot of other cartel leaders like El Mancho, uh, El Golf. He is highly, highly respected because he's OG. He's, he's been around for a long time and people know who, who he is and what he's done and, and how long he's been in the game. So a lot of people respect him and respect the fact that he's been able to you know stand the, the test of time. But like I said, it doesn't matter how much money you have or how much power, we all get old, we all get sick, and that's the issue that he's, he's fighting with right now. Be, being a diabetic is not 
it's not cool and it needs a lot of attention a lot of you know um, it, it just needs to be looked at a lot you know and it's almost impossible when you're living in those areas where you have no no doctors no nothing and you actually have to be very very careful who you associate with or or who you talk to because you don't want nobody knowing where you're at especially when you're wanted like that you're wanted you're on the world spotlight you're wanted by everybody and the war that's happening in your backyard also so we'll see what happens with Elmayo man you know um he's one of the great ones he's one of the great ones that stood the test of time and you know at 72 I said he had a pretty good run, you know, he's been doing it since <laughs> 50 years now. But like I said, you get sick, you don't take care of yourself, you know, he's going to be one of the ones that I say, one out of the 10 that makes it out. Let's keep our fingers crossed, <laughs> right? Well, on my next video, I'm going to talk about El Mayo, Doneto, Miguel Ángel Félix, the Godfather, and Rafael Caro Quintero. What do all these guys have in common? where well, they were all founders of the Guadalajara Cartel, one of the largest criminal organizations that's ever existed in the world. So I'm going to be talking about these guys and how they, how they brought this together. Um, people don't realize that all this is what started everything that's happening today and why the cartel life and what it is right now today is so bloody and gruesome because of the stepping stones that had to be taken to uh, get there today. Um, people don't realize that a lot of these guys had to, you know, fight tooth and nail with a lot of uh, outsiders. I call the, you know, the outsiders, the, the, the Cali cartel, the, the Colombians, the Endure, all of them that, you know, at one time, they were just paying the cartel to be their runners. Well, it's not like that no more. The cartel is the company, the distribution, they're, they're everything. They're not the middlemen no more. And what happened is that there's a lot of, of money in this product, so a lot of smaller cartels start to spur up because there's money for everybody. If you really think about it, there's money for everybody. That In that case, it would only be one or two restaurants and that would be it. No, there's a there's hundred restaurants because there's money for everybody. But people get greedy, people get evil, and a lot of bad things to happen, start to happen, you know? Greed, power, lust, all big, big destruction modes. So we'll see what happens. I'll keep, you know, informing you guys, telling you what's going on. Uh, hopefully he set something in stone before he does pass away. That way there won't be such a big power struggle in Mexico, but we'll see. My name's JC, I am Wrong and Strong. This is my life, my story, my shenanigans. I hope you like them. And if not, I'm sorry. Don't judge nobody, stay in your lane, live savage. You only have one life to live, but if you live it right, one life is all you need. I'll catch you guys on the rebound.